Games are meant to be all about having fun, right? Well, sometimes if we just want to have fun playing a game, we might decide to turn the difficulty down if things are getting a bit too tough. But there are some games out there that think people who do this are people that should be made fun of instead of being allowed to enjoy their easier game time. Hey guys, Arcade Cloud here, and today we're counting down our list of the top 10 games that make fun of you for playing on easy. If you're new to our channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with some friends. It's free. Number 10, Serious Sam HD. Serious Sam HD takes everything you love from the first and the second encounter and then makes them even better by improving the graphics, textures, models, lighting, and special effects. Then it decided to take things one step further and started making fun of the people who tried to play it on easy mode. See, the Serious Sam series has always been a series that really enjoyed making its players work hard. The games are pretty tricky. Although you go through waves and waves of enemies, killing them in brilliant gory ways, the enemies pack some punch too, and it's understandable that some players might want to turn the difficulty level down a bit after being mercilessly slaughtered over and over again. If you want to turn the difficulty down, however, you're in for a bit of a shock. The easiest difficulty is called Tourist. If you turn the game down to this level, enemies will explode, but not with gore, instead with flowers and sparkles. Sure, the game is easier, but it's not anywhere near as satisfying to play when all the enemies pop open like pinatas. Number 9, Ninja Gaiden Black. The Ninja Gaiden series is one of those games that just sort of exists to be hard, so it's understandable that you might want to take the easier way out. The game has a total of five levels, the hardest being Master ninja and the lowest being ninja dog. Now this might sound like a fun mode where you play as a puppy who has mastered all the ways of the ninja, but it's nothing like that at all. You gain access to this difficulty by dying three times in the first chapter of the game. It will then ask whether you wish to abandon the way of the ninja. You can choose no and keep trying to overcome the obstacles in front of you, or you can choose yes twice and trigger a cutscene. Your partner, Ayain, will say that she's disappointed, but that you should complete the mission. From here on out, your save game's difficulty will be marked as ninja dog, which is pretty embarrassing embarrassing to look at. On the plus side, you do get a bunch more items, higher damage, and weaker enemies. Number 8, Monkey Island 2. Monkey Island 2 LeChuck's Revenge is an adventure game that was developed and published by LucasArts back in 1991. The game is all about the wannabe pirate Guybrush Threepwood and his attempts to find the mysterious treasure of Big Whoop. One of the worst feelings in an adventure game is getting stuck behind a tricky puzzle that you just can't figure out. Well, don't fear because LeChuck's Revenge has a special light mode that is described as being for beginners and magazine reviewers, which is a pretty obvious dig at games journalists, which I guess was super ahead of its time. The description of the mode reads as, I've never played an adventure game before, I'm scared. Now if that isn't straight up insulting, I don't know what is. Then again, I guess if that video game journalist who couldn't even beat the tutorial of Cuphead has anything to go by, maybe easy modes for games journalists wouldn't be the worst idea. Number 7, Streets of Rage 3. There are some games out there that are just plain mean, and one of those games is Streets of Rage 3. This side-scrolling beat-em-up was released back in 1994, and is well known for having more than one ending a complex plot, longer levels, and most importantly for this list, an increased difficulty. In fact, not only did Streets of Rage 3 kick people's butts when they played, it seemed to take a weird pleasure while it kicked them. If you put your game down onto easy mode, you literally couldn't play the final two stages of the game, which meant you had to play the whole game over again just to see the final ending. Even worse, if you make it past the fifth stage of the game on easy mode, Robot X will start taunting you for choosing such an easy mode, proclaiming that you play the game just like a beginner. Not only do you have to deal with taunting, you aren't allowed to finish the game. That's beyond making fun of you, it's practically torture. Number 6, Civilization. Civilization is a pretty intense game. When you start a new campaign, you can choose your difficulty, and considering how big and scary Civilization looks, it's understandable if you'd want to try it out on easy before diving into the whole thing. After hours of playing the game, battling over territories and creating cities and strategizing, your performance will be judged. Everything you've done, every war you've won or lost, will be tallied up into a final score and then given a rank depending on how well you perform. Well, that's what happens on every difficulty except from easy easy mode. On easy, no matter how good or bad you do, you'll be given the rank Warren G. Harding. Now, you might have no idea who this is unless you're actually a history nerd. Harding is actually an American president, but there's a reason you don't remember his name. He was one of the worst presidents in American history. Number 5, Postal 2. Postal 2 really pushes the boundaries of making fun when you try to put it down on easy mode. If you do decide to take on the easiest mode in the game, all of your enemies will be armed to the teeth with shovels instead of guns. Now, that doesn't sound like a punishment, right? Well, now you realize that because no one has any guns, no one's going to be dropping any ammo. If no one drops any ammo, then that means you can't get any more ammo either. Also, if you put the game into anything below average, then you can't access the enhanced mode. You get access to enhanced mode by beating the game at an above average difficulty, and for many, it's the most entertaining part of the game. You're now immune to fire, start with a cop uniform, you can pee blood, gasoline, vomit, and literal napalm. If playing on an easier mode means being restricted from all that, then is there really any point of playing it at all? Number 4, Earthworm Jim. Earthworm Jim was a crazy platformer from the 90s, 
series with some surprisingly good gameplay to back it up. Of course, the insanity of the game is beyond basically anything of the last era, and if you had a PC ROM version of the game, it contained one of the craziest easy mode taunts that have ever been in a video game. Due to the storage capacity of a CD, which could provide much more space than any other distribution method, the Earthworm Jim developers were able to put something pretty special in the game for easy mode players. Instead of showing you the ending cutscene, there's a 10 minute long audio file of the game's developer berating you, and then giving you a whole bunch of absolutely fake worm related facts. They're all just really bad jokes. Like, imagine you play a game to completion on easy mode, and then you just have a guy telling you bad worm jokes for 10 minutes. I don't know if that's evil genius or just hilarious. Number 3. Twisted Metal 2 You don't really see them this often these days, but there used to be a time where car combat was all the rage. One of the biggest car combat games of the time was Twisted Metal 2, which improved on the original in basically every way. It's also incredibly difficult with the NPC characters in the game driving after you with a level of ferocity that's almost scary. Luckily, there is a way to change the game's difficulty down to easy, unfortunately the game doesn't like that very much. Instead, it literally won't let you progress past the first boss on easy mode. After that point, a giant stop sign appears on the screen telling you that no losers are allowed beyond that point. You have to play on hard or medium difficulty to be allowed to progress past the first boss. I mean, I guess it isn't as bad as some games which make you start over right from the beginning again, but if I had beaten a boss in a video game, I would expect to be allowed to continue, not to be shut down by an angry stop sign. Number 5. Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain MGS5 is probably the last good Metal Gear Solid game we will ever get. Like sure, Hideo Kojima is now working on Death Stranding, and that's probably going to be amazing, but the Metal Gear series we all knew and loved is probably dead forever now. But hey, at least The Phantom Pain was a masterpiece. A really mean masterpiece. Staying stealthy in video games can be pretty tough, especially in a game like Metal Gear Solid 5, where keeping every part of you hidden is so vitally important. I mean, I was always more the guns blazing type anyway. Of course, going in guns blazing also meant I died a lot. If you die a certain amount of times in Metal Gear Solid 5, you get a special present that helps you stay hidden. It's not a special box or some clothes that make you look like a bush. Nope, it's actually a giant chicken hat. If you wear it, however, the game punishes you by giving you a penalty to your mission score. Oh, and you'll also look like an idiot. Solid snake? No, no, no. Now you're solid chicken. <laughs> Now I am become chicken, destroyer of worlds. <laughs> Number 1. Wolfenstein The New Order Wolfenstein The New Order is a game well known for its violence, badass first person shooting, and its sense of humor. One of the ways it expresses this humor is the difficulty menu. The higher difficulties all have really badass sounding names like Uber and I Am Death Incarnate, but then you get to the lower difficulties. Don't Hurt Me is still somewhat acceptable, but the easiest playable difficulty is called Can I Play Daddy? If you thought that was bad enough, the caption for this difficulty level reads, Very easy difficulty setting for the spineless gamer. But then the teasing doesn't end there because the picture next to it in the menu has the main character of the game dressed up as a baby, complete with a little baby's bonnet and pacifier. To be honest, I don't think I could ever bring myself to click on something that was dishing out that level of disrespect. And there you have it, our list of the top 10 games that make fun of you for playing on easy. Do you agree? Did we miss something? Let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more great videos from Arcade Cloud on Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Take care and game on.